Good day and God bless. I am John Henrik B. Orapa from the Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Science. Welcome to Modern Physics. On this video, we are given a task to discuss about nuclear reactor. But first, let's start with some questions. Let's go. Yes, a nuclear reactor uses nuclear energy to generate electricity. But what is nuclear energy? Nuclear energy is the energy in the nucleus or core of an atom. Yes, nuclear reactor reside on nuclear power plant. But what is a nuclear power plant? Well, a nuclear power plant is a thermal power station which the heat source is a nuclear reactor. It facilitates designed to generate electricity through the use of nuclear reactions. Additional information is that the heart of a nuclear power plant is a nuclear reactor, where nuclear chain reactions are contained and controlled to produce heat through fission. The process involves the controlled splitting of uranium atoms in a reaction called nuclear fission. After all of the questions before, what is a nuclear reactor? Nuclear reactor is a complex machine designed to initiate and control a sustained nuclear chain reaction. One commonly used design is the pressurized water reactor which is widely employed in the power industry. And this is an example of a, nu of a nuclear reactor. This is the pressurized water reactor. This is the water, the condenser, then the reactor vessel, this one, this one. then the steam generator, and also this is the pressur pressurizer, this one, then the turbine, and after all of this process, it will generate an electricity and this will transfer here and the electricity from here will be distributed in the city, as you can see. As I've said, in PWR, it is widely employed in power industry. In PWR, the nuclear chain reaction occurs and the all course in the reactor core where fuel assembles containing enriched uranium pellets are placed. Now, let's explore an example of this reactor which is the pressurized water reactor and discuss how each part functions in controlling the chain reaction of fission. There are six parts that I've known, which are the fuel rods, control rods, moderator, coolant, reactor vessel, and lastly, the regulator. So let's go. The fuel rods are the heart of a nuclear reactor containing pellets of enriched uranium or other fissile material. When a neutron strikes the nucleus of a uranium-235 atom, it can cause the nucleus to split, releasing energy and more neutrons. The neutron can then collide to other uranium-235 nuclei, triggering additional fissions in a self-sustaining chain reaction.
control rods are made of materials that absorb neutrons such as boron or cadmium. By inserting or withdrawing control rods into the reactor core, operators can adjust the rate of the nuclear reaction by absorbing or releasing more neutrons. A large number of absorbed neutrons result in a slower reaction rate and vice versa. In moderator, a moderator material surrounds the fuel rods to slow down or moderate neutrons released during fission so they can more easily collide with uranium nuclide and trigger additional reactions. An example of a common moderator materials in PWR or the pressurized water reactor is a graphite or water. In coolant, the coolant system circulates water through the reactor core to remove heat generated by the nuclear reactions and prevent fuel overheating. In PWR, like this one, water under high pressure is used as both coolant and moderator. In reactor vessel, it contains all components mentioned before and maintain pressure during operation. In PWR, this is the labeled one. This is the reactor vessel of the PWR. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the one being labeled. In regulator system, it monitors the temperature, pressure, and radiation levels within the reactor and automatically adjusts the control rod positions to maintain stable conditions if necessary. This ensures safe and efficient operation by preventing overheating or underperformance. And I would like to add two more which are the nuclear fuel and steam generator. The primary function of the nuclear fuel is to initiate and sustain a nuclear chain reaction. In nuclear fuel, its energy will be in a form of heat. This heat then transferred into the steam generator. The steam generator converts thermal energy from the coolant into mechanical energy by producing steam that drives turbines connected to electrical generators. This process transforms heat into electricity for power generation. As you can see in PWR, this is the, the turbine, this one, and this one is the generator, and then this process transforms heat from here, from the, from the generator, into electricity for power generation, here. In summary, all components in a nuclear reactor play a crucial role in controlling the chain reaction of fission, which means all parts are important to make a nuclear reactor function well. There's a question that popped up in my mind right now, and I don't want to include this video actually, but I think my heart changed in the last minute. The question is, does our country the Philippines have a nuclear power plant. Hmm. Well, last year we had a, we had a subject named thermodynamics, 
and it leads me to read an article in relation to nuclear power plant. I don't know why, but it really leads me to read an article last year. The article stated that we had or have a nuclear power plant before, but never been used or operational because of its safety concerns and corruption allegation that time, which means na anaunta kaso wala gamita or wala gipadayon. Kay mo lagi to tungod sa safety concerns and corruption allegation. And it is very sad kay I think maka boost unta siya sa economy or dato na unta atong country karon and also can make our electricity bill goes down. If you're asking if we can have them or let me let me let me rephrase the question. If you're asking if we can have a nuclear power plant in the future, all I can say is that we need to vote wisely during election. And that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye.